Hello children, I've got such a special um, thing that I want to share with you and I hope that this really illustrates what I'm trying to get through to you. Um, I want to pray before we get started. Dear Lord, please be with us. Help me to present this in a manner that the children could understand it and that it will really touch their heart and um, they'll be able to make good choices to be with you, Lord, and to be a light to other people around them. We love you, Lord, and I pray that this demonstration goes well and that uh, we get to see you more clearly and see who we should be in, in, um, as a representative of you. We love you. Please be with us always and be with the little people and their their families and their decisions and the way that they're raised. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. All right, I, I wanted to share right here that I've got two jars and these are the same and they're filled the same amount. And um, this one is clear and this is gonna represent a clean person, a person that that is following God and who wants to do good and then this one is going to represent somebody maybe they don't know God and, and they don't realize that they're doing things wrong or maybe they're doing things wrong on purpose. We, we know people like that too. So um, I'm repre they're representing each other. So these right here, the, these, these are us and our friends, the people we hang out with. And these people right here are of the world. They're just bumping around in the world. And so what I want to do is I want to take a clean person who comes into a room full of people who aren't keeping keeping God's laws and don't know about them or do, doesn't care about them or whatever for whatever reason. And I want you to see how full that dropper is. And they go in to a room of people who aren't keeping God's commandments or not trying to be a Christian or anything and so this is this is how it changes the environment so then people say this is a church and it's filled with clean good people and then a person comes who who doesn't really care about God or know about him and the influence that he has on him well that you can see a change you could see a change when that happens. I hope you guys could see that that changed. You can. And then let's say that we wanted to undo what was what had happened there. How much would it take of this clean water to to make that clean again? So we take some water and we put it in there. Uh oh, look at that. You can still see. Um, the pollution that got put into that water and then you put more you could still see that and you know it's only through Jesus Christ that we're going to be able to undo what has been done to us because our, of ourselves we can't undo that and, and it does make a difference it makes more of a difference for the people who are trying to live their life right with Christ than it does for the person who who doesn't know who 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 they don't even have a concept they're not trying and so it makes a big difference and I want to read a scripture out of the Bible that kind of illustrates this also and it's found in um, um, 1st Corinthians 1533 and it says be not deceived evil communications corrupt good manners and so if, if you find somebody who's who's coming in teaching you something wrong or they're you know laughing at somebody or hurting somebody even if you're not participating in that they're gonna they're gonna corrupt your good manners they're you're gonna get corrupted from that and it's really difficult to overcome it so I, I want to pray that God gives you the strength to choose the people that you're gonna be around because sometimes when you're a child you don't get to choose either um, because you have to go wherever mom takes you and or wherever dad takes you and and sometimes you don't get to choose but you can always pray always pray when you're in a situation like that and, and you can make a difference in your parents lives too so let's say a little prayer 
Dear Lord, please be with us. Help us to choose the right people to be around so that we could stay clean in our hearts and in our minds and we could worship you in the way that you would have us to worship you. And if ever the children are in a situation that they can't control, that they can't leave if they want to, or not go to a person who's not nice um, over to their house or something like that, I pray, Lord, that you remind them that they could pray to you and that you could bring comfort into their hearts, even though they're going through a hard time. Please, Lord, help everybody who, who hears this demonstration that they realize how important it is that they choose who they're around. We love you, and we thank you for being our God and letting us be your people. We want to stay your people. We don't want to be corrupted. We don't want to sin, and we don't want to die in a, um, in a bad state. We love you. We want to live forever with you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed that.